It's been a year that my life has completely changed. A year ago, I was diagnosed with a cancer. And uh, I'm lucky. Yeah, I mean, you might be surprised saying that I'm lucky. But yes, I'm lucky. Uh, God gave me this experience to know that he loves me so much, so, so, so much. The cancer I was diagnosed with is a very rare one that a very few doctors know about. It. There are no much studies, no statistics, nothing, nothing at all. It's only trials. They will just try. And whatever come up, it will be a result, whether I will survive or not. I was operated here in Dubai back in, on the 21st of July, 2010. I went walking to the hospital and I came out from that surgery, someone dead, completely dead. I was told on the night of the surgery that I miraculously survived the operation but I have to live with a diverting ileostomy for the rest of my life. Uh, I don't know, maybe a lot of you don't know what is a uh, diverting ileostomy, and I didn't know even before, until I really experienced it. It's something really tough to live with. I'm sorry if I'm taking too much time, but God really needs us to, uh, to show his love because we have forgotten his love. Diverting ileostomy means leaving with uh, your bowels outside your body. You don't, you don't have a digesting system at all. For nine months, I was uh, living with a drip. As the brother Anil said, I was carrying the stand with me everywhere I go. And the drip. A lot of, I had two surgeries, two more surgeries, and they were failure as well. My husband was called in to Lebanon to say goodbye. 2011, February, I had the chance to come to Dubai. I was supposed to come with a drip, but I took it off, and I risked coming to Dubai and staying without a drip for five days. Joseph, our friend, he heard about my story. We, we lost contact with him maybe 13 years ago. But God wanted me really to come back here. He called my husband, and we went and we met brother and he. That was February 3rd, 2011. That day, my life changed, completely changed. Yes, still I was still going with the drip everywhere and I had diverting ileostomy. Brother Anil prayed over me and I felt God washing me and he really washed me off. He washed all my sin and he washed cancer off. I went back to Lebanon on 6th of February and a chemotherapy session was planned for me. And I said, no, I'm not going, I'm gonna go through it. I need to do a scan right now. I have cured and God cured me. <laughs> Doctors didn't want to believe this, of course, and we know the reasons. I had my scan and they were all surprised. There were no cancer left. No cancer at all. I was operated after that, and they reattached the bowel, and the ileostomy was closed. And today I'm here, and you can see it. Hallelujah. I want to thank God for the pain because that pain taught me, taught me to really appreciate his pain for us. I was in pain, and my family, my friends, everyone. 
I'm sure Brother Anil, Marie, Joseph, everyone knows me. Also, they went through that phase with me. It's our job. I want to really urge every and single one of you, talk by the name of the God. Life is taking us away and very far from God. But this is not what he deserves from us, he deserves from us after giving himself on the cross to wash off our sins. We need to always speak by the name of the God and thank him with every sunshine. This is what I do and this is what I teach my daughter, to thank God for the bread of life, to thank him for the gift of the family I have, my husband and my daughter, my friends, and everyone around me. All doors had opened for me. When I, at any moment of like weaknesses, I was feeling that all doors are closing, God was giving me that light that no, all the doors will open again. And one after one were opening till I am here today standing in front of you.